guys, it's me, Tanise, and I am coming to you guys live from Hammond, Indiana, and I am here with my friend, Felicia, and she has some awesome stuff to tell us today. However, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Well, um, uh, what do we know? I love to dance. That's how, well, that's one of the ways that I love to dance. Um, I, my career, what I love to do is I teach, so I'm a teacher, I um, enjoy just beauty a little bit, so beauty not just physically, I enjoy beauty on the inside too, like when you are being beautiful on the inside, so that's like kind of a foundation for me, just I believe that people should be beautiful outside and inside, um, and that's one of the things that I live by, so yeah, just want to get that about me. I'm married, I have a daughter, a beautiful daughter, and now I have a twin, that tells you that, and you do. <laughs> well, Felicia's here today because she has a testimony slash revelation that when I heard it, I was like, oh. So, or if I was told you've been spoiled, 
Oh God, I never heard that. She been spoiled over once. Oh my gosh, I said I ain't never heard that. Now, y'all. Um, but yeah, so it was a thing, and I had been thinking about it even when I was going to like decide. But it was the Holy Spirit that was like, you forget what it is that you um that you want, like get what you want to wear. It's literally the significance of the of the moment, and I'll kind of talk. starting to get a little anxiety not because I'm not nervous to do it or to go out there but it was because I'm like do I wear my veil on my face or do I just have it down like a little you know how some people just wear it down and you know it's, it's long and it just flows right now there's nothing wrong it wasn't even about whether I wanted to So, uh, like, it was almost prophetic into the symbolism. So, I decided, I, I had to confirm. I was like, I had to change. I was like, I asked somebody, I was like, is it okay that I wear it? Like, yes. And I thank God for the person that was able to confirm and not say, oh, girl, no. <laughs> you know, now. Yeah. That would have messed up my whole. Yep. <laughs> I would have been like, and then I would have just been like, oh, my God. <laughs> So I wore it, and um, you know, so as I as now, like even you know, we talked about the revelation from that as I went on and on through the years. It's like God will reveal certain things to me about that moment. In the moment, I knew what it symbolized, but it's like you know, when you get the full like understanding of it, sometimes it's a layer. And so as I was um, just thinking about it practice and we had <laughs> and, and that word came up and we were looking at the scripture in Matthew about how the veil was once Jesus died the veil was torn from top to bottom and um, not only did that strike me it was also because of the movement that we did because we did like this so that it was ripped and so I, I visualized that in the moment like Jesus goes to the cross. He dies for us, and the veil was broken. And, you know, just quickly, the veil symbolized like this separation between God and us. You wanted to go beyond the veil, you had to be holy. That's right. Okay, you couldn't be out here, so in your royal world. All over the place. <laughs> That's right. You cannot. <laughs> So it was once that happened, once Christ came to break that, it like allowed us to have this relationship that we didn't have to go through all these operations and all these rituals in order to reach him. He was accessible now. Yeah. So when I was able to lift the veil over my head, woo, huh, I was able to like actually do the act. So it's 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 it was so it's so simple to some people and they're like girls no you know that's that's taboo that's no. this and that but lifting it at the moment and and just realizing that i'm not in a tradition it's about a relationship yes god don't care he don't he, he like okay i know what you did that don't matter still come to me come to me i don't care what you've done and so me being able to lift that up my head it was all white it had little rhinestones on it yes i was so excited and so it's just it meant so much because of what it also symbolized me in, in scripture but also just what it symbolized in terms of my relationship where my relationship was going i was making a commitment before christ not once again it was not just to my husband it was not just about him it was about my relationship to the Lord and me saying, okay, God, I know that I've done this, but you still accept me. Yes. And that's, you know, that was like the beginning of it. So I have to admit, when you were <laughs> even, because you didn't even go into deep detail in rehearsal, mm -hmm. it was just the little bit that you shared. Yeah. I was 
like, wait a minute. It was so liberating for me because I am just like you were. I was promiscuous. I had my oldest daughter in high school. And I got married right away. And I was one of those women where they told me I couldn't wear a white dress. And I ain't going to say what church I went to because I still got people that go to that church. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 